30? 30. 30. 30. 30? I'm confused. Well, today, ladies and gentlemen, we came to check out the uh, Two Jack Campgrounds. Famous and most popular ones for sure in Banff National Park, and it's right close to the town of Banff. There's the lakefront one, and then this, what's in behind here, is the main campground. So let's go check out the main campground, show you guys what that's all about, and then we're gonna head over to the other side and show you guys what the lake one looks like. <laughs> main campground has about 40 of these loops and right now I'm standing in the middle of loop number eight. You can use the bear bins to store your food. So you have power in here, you got water, you got shelter, and you got uh, a sink and everything like that you need inside. What's nice about these loops is that they're all kind of secluded and you really can't see the campers in the other ones. So you can fit a lot of people in all these little loops and it kind of hides everything. So let's go check inside here in loop eight to see what the actual day use area looks like. kind of shelter day use area and you get your sink at the back here. These bedrooms and tables will be set up here once this place opens up. And you got a little stove you can use here. For cooking, it's quite neat. Nice little spot. And I can see there is power coming in here. And I think the power is just meant for the light outside and it goes from the back side. There's no actual power plugins if you're looking for power for some of your devices, don't expect to find it in these day use areas. Quite a nice, quaint little campground. And I kind of like this whole loop idea because everything is close together and it doesn't take long to see where you're supposed to go if you need water or use the washrooms. We're in loop nine and 10 right now and I, I can barely see loop seven and eight that's on the other side of the, the road. And all these other loops, they're, they're too far away and there's too many trees, so it completely hides everything and you get some good shade. And also, if you guys like hammocks, there's lots of trees. If you guys wanna lay down a, a hammock quickly by using straps. 
but every site has seems like has a fire pit and a picnic table and really close to a bathroom these ones so far that i've seen from loops one through ten they're kind of small and i don't think you can fit an rv in here maybe a really small tent trailer but i think these are all designed for tents even if i came camping here and i had my jeep and my trailer that would just fit the, the actual the actual parking and i would be able to maybe fit one tent i don't even think i could fit two tents here so if you come here you're better off to bring like one bigger tent instead of two smaller ones because i often camp with two smaller tents just to make it easier so let's go check out some more of the campgrounds here So behind me is building number 10, and this one services loop 21 and 18. These loops have no fire pits, and there's actually a sign saying that you're not allowed to start a fire because you don't have a fire pit. So not all sites here, you can actually make a fire. If you come here and you want to be secluded and you just have a, a, a tent in a car, uh, loop number 21 is at the far back, and there's a lot of larger sites back there. That would be a little tip if you come to visit this campground. This looks very familiar. After being at the Johnson Canyon campground, this looks exactly kind of like that. I'm actually at the Two Jack Lakeside campground. There's two separate campgrounds, and this one here is definitely the most popular one by far. This one actually opens up almost a month before the other one. This is a little bit like Lake O'Hara or some of the super popular campsites. There's not a whole lot of sites here. So these tend to get booked out really quickly at the beginning of the year, between January and April, when they open the reservation system, that kind of stuff. Go in there, first light, and go in there and get your reservations if you wanna come and enjoy this gorgeous little campsite. There's washrooms right in front of me there, and then you got this little nice little day use area. And what I like is that they put some clear sky so you get some the actual natural light coming in here and like the other ones you get a stove that's in here and these ones they do have power so as you come in this main cam set has two main loops there's one on the back side and one on the front side so let's go out and check these out for you guys to see
it doesn't get any better than this. You got these gorgeous little walk-in spots in the first section here. There's concrete tables and so nothing can really be moved. There's a fire pit right there and you got a flat spot for your tent. Your vehicle isn't that far away so you can come in here, bring all your stuff and then you got a gorgeous view of the lake here. This is pretty, pretty awesome. There's only one for the size of the area. Seems kind of odd. I would have put more than one, but at night uh, it probably reflects really nicely. And you have the skylights in the roof here. But this is the actual second day use area on the inside here. This one's a little bit larger because it, it accommodates a lot more campers. And what's awesome is that you get a gorgeous view of the lake through the trees, mind you, all the way at the far back. Like the, all the other ones, there's enough stuff here to make a fire here. There's solid tables, there's four solid tables, and you got a nice wide open space. It's a great little spot here to come camping. I can see why this might be one of the most popular campgrounds in Banff National Park. I didn't even know this was here. And that's why I come along checking out the campsites for you guys, so you don't, you don't have to. But this, I think it's a authentic little tiny cabins, kind of like canvas made, and you get your own little deck, picnic table, you were right beside the lake. It's a gorgeous little spot here. And these you can rent so that you don't actually have to bring a shelter. So basically you just bring a sleeping bag or whatever you want, stuff from home. Uh, you can just bring blankets and pillows from home if you don't even want to camp and you, if you're not somebody who's into camping, but you just want to experience it without having to buy a bunch of stuff, then this is kind of perfect for that. Or if you're in a motorcycle, for example, then there's actually bear lockers right there because they don't want you to keep your food where you're sleeping. That's rule number one of backcountry or rule number one of bear country, I should say, because you don't want to be keeping food anywhere near where you're sleeping. Hmm. Neat.
Well, this is the second loop. The loop that's actually closer to the road and further away from the lake. But this loop here, you can actually drive your vehicle all the way up to each campsite. So that's the main difference between the lower numbers and then the higher numbers. But the fact that you can bring all of your equipment and stuff right in your vehicle and drive all the way to these campsites, it might be more beneficial if you don't want to do the walk-in camping like it is on the other loop. The higher numbers is also where you have toilets that are right in here, but there's showers in there as well, and there's actually running water. So you have your garbage and your dishes and everything that you need to make food here. One thing I didn't notice with all these campgrounds is that the picnic tables are made out of concrete, so they're not movable. And so is the fire pit. The fire pit, that's kind of normal that it stays in one spot. <laughs> this is what you can expect if you come camping at the Two Jack campground on the lakeside or on the main campground. Either way, you'll have these enjoyable views. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video of me showing you all the things there is to need to know about the Two Jack campground. And I'm Eric Tromblate, and these are my adventures. Peace out! <laughs>